Okay, let's do a staycation. I've done I've done one of these already. It was a stream. It messed up a little bit. So let's do just a straight up video. Let's have some fun with it. Princess here. Let's bring the champion assault rifle code orange. She of course gets charge points every time she hits a target that's been affected by a status effect. Daryl. Bring in the old Abbey Tromblone. He can ignite targets with that, cripple them, all that kind of stuff. Of course, he's got leadership trait. He's got his friendship bracelet. He's got dozens and dozens of special rules. Tyrese, I was having an absolute blast with. But what we're actually going to do, going to bring Russell. I was missing the opportunity to set more targets on fire. So we're bringing the blue vortex nail gun so we can do a little bit more of that. And without further ado, okay, so we got a pretty good score initially. Uh, I'm gonna try and beat it. This team was just proving to be a lot of fun to use. Although, of course, I had Tyrese. I did have Tyrese where Russell is. So, doing something a little bit different. We're just committing to the ranged attackiness of it all. But, of course, something else that the nail gun can do, it can... I mean, it can ensnare targets if you, if you hit them and they're close enough. And we've got that with the Abbey as well. So we've got a lot of ways to control the battlefield, and that's just that's just really groovy. So here we go. We'll just I was gonna say we'll just root him, but I mean KOing him absolutely fine as well. We can be very liberal with our charge points. We've got we've got a lot of ways to get charge points. Daryl's heirloom means that he can get them and he can pass them on. Um, Princess is the leader, of course, so anything that's got any kind of status effect is a charge point generator for us, you know, which is great. Let's get into a good position here. Russell and Daryl only need two charge points and they're fully charged. Three for Princess, but of course, she can hit so many targets all at once. And that's just pretty damn great. So we can just we just go crazy. And of course, the charge attack for the Code Orange is a bonus attack. So you get to make a normal attack afterwards as well. So you can use your charge points. And then you can just you can just get them straight back instantly. So it's it's pretty nice. Let's set these goons alight. I don't mind being right next to that armored walker because we're probably going to kill him. If we hadn't, we would have KO'd him. So that's good. I think it's infinite range on the Abbey's charge attack. It it seems to. I've not noticed any kind of range restriction. Can't remember if the description for the weapon actually explicitly states, oh yeah, this is an unlimited you know range of attack. But it uh, that seems to be how it shakes out, that seems to be how it works. Great. Cool. Okay, glad that I got all of those guys dealt with. And just as soon as you dealt with one lot, another lot turns up. 
Let's get rid of you. Let's do that. Damn, sneaky, speedy walkers. Gosh, I hate them. Okay. They're a bit more palatable if they've been set on fire. I don't think we need to use charge point. May as well hold on to the hold on to that charge attack. It's not often that I'm gonna do that. Normally I'll just say, yeah, let her rip, let's just use the charge attacks. You know, but um It wouldn't have given us an awful lot more value. Let's get you held tight. Let's do this. Okay, so they're both stuck. They're both on fire. It's kind of what we want to see. Three turns until the next reinforcements come in. So plenty of time to build up our charge points again. So let's just try and do that. Daryl, you get down here. Good. And it's all going pretty smoothly. Yes, we're only at wave 11. That's not a phenomenal challenge or anything, but it's, I'd say, I'd say that we're doing all right. Feels like we're having a decent run here. Okay, and those, those horrible speedy walkers, they're just suddenly not such badasses if you can, well, take their speed away. And they're not speedies, they're just normalies. I mean, the risk is that they, you know, they can jump you. They can be behind somewhere, you think you're safe, you think you're out of range of everywhere, and then boom. Speedy Walker just pops up out of nowhere. It uh, it happens. It does happen. So let's aim for the middle guy because it's called Fire Spread for a reason. Okay. Yeah, they're armored, but they can die. Just hit them, keep on hitting them. And of course, anybody that we can get cooking, that's a good that's a good thing for us. Daryl can do that. We're gonna aim for this guy just because we can get more targets on fire that way. Russell. There you go. Okay, this is kind of what I like to see. Lots of targets on fire. I think we're in a pretty good position. And it feels like everything's going smoothly, but oh, last stand. Things can just go south so quickly. Okay, lots of walkers coming in next round. That's good. That's what we call a target rich environment. And they're all pretty soft and squishy as well. Not that we want to underestimate anything that we could face. Even just a bog standard, regular, normal, nothing special walker can they'll get you if you uh, if you let them. If you're not considerate, if you dismiss them. Of 
I don't like where Princess is. I like it even less now. Um, hmm. I do have an idea. Just a question of whether it's any good. That should ensnare him. Yes. Let's do that. I'm just thinking, where can those speedies get to? So he's one, two, three. Oh no, he's, he's not safe from that one. Let's get all of you guys stunned. Oh, slight misclick there. It shouldn't be a problem. Yes, it is. Trying to just trying to make sure that we don't wind up in range of our friend there. I think Princess, the best thing that she can do is stay in disguise. So we're missing out on some attacks that we could have otherwise made, but we kept Princess safe. Let's get rid of you. Let's get you on fire. I don't. He's. That guy's a bit of a wild card over there, that's spiky. Just out there on his own. It means that you could easily get into a habit of not paying attention to him and then he, he just... And then you think, oh, this, this part of the map looks safe. And then you realise it's not. Okay. Could really do with Princess being charged. That will do, I guess. I don't know where we want to maybe count. I mean, I guess this is as good a place as any to sort of try and set up a camp. It's getting to that point where we've got enough targets, really, that it's, it's a valid thing to sort of camp up. Let's do that. Let's take a step forward, get him on fire. Gonna have plenty of time for him to cook as he makes his way across the map. Uh, yeah, go on then. Let's ensnare you, get out of there. Fire spread. Yeah, there's a couple of guys there who aren't on fire. And now they aren't even moving. Let's get you crippled. Okay, that, that spiky there is, is closing in. But he is badly hurt. He is on fire. That's good. Let's get these guys stunned. That's why we're doing that. Yeah, we've got two turns until the reinforcements come in. That's good. Got some more people who need to be educated in the ways of burning. Okay. Let's do that. Yep. Okay, this is, yeah, it, it looks like we've now sort of resorted to um, 
turtling up here, which I'm, I'm kind of okay with. We should be able to do it. We've got a lot of ways to ensnare, cripple, you know, just generally slow down enemies. So what I'm worried about is perhaps speedies and things coming from the top, coming up and around. Because that could be pretty devastating. Let's get Princess and Daryl ready to head off whatever is going to be coming at us from the top. Those reinforcements there. Okay, yeah, they're cooking. That's good. Get you on fire as well. Really would have thought Princess would be charged, but she's, she's not. Those speed is definitely going to be coming down from the top. That's pretty scary stuff. Um, everybody's got to be on fire, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that could have been worse. We can do this. That gets the ball rolling because they're on fire. We can do this. Do that. Stun him. You're a problem. But okay. Sir, to be right, you should be ensnared if we do that. That's good. That's good. You too, if we do that, and then we cripple everyone else, and we're safe for another turn. Good. Ah, oh, damn! I shouldn't have left that little. Shouldn't have left that space in the bottom right because, well, let's we'll see what's happened. You, sir. An unwelcome guest. Kind of need him. Kind of need some of these guys to be stunned or something. Um. Can I, can I, can I do that? Can I do that? Yes. And then what we can do, you're going to have to be held tight. You're going to have to be ensnared. You're hopefully going to burn. Are you, you don't seem distracted by the bait. I thought you were going to be distracted by the bait. Phew. Right, I still don't know what to do about this chap. He's just, he's just there. Um, I need to kind of get him, get him burning or something. Really, gonna have him stunned. Okay, I mean he's ensnared, but he's not. It's not the same thing as being KO'd. Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Your problem, we've got to ensnare you. <laughs> okay, so everybody here can be stunned except for that flipping tank but what we can do maybe how about do that 
actually do that. I didn't mean to actually sort of do that really. Um, okay. Okay, so Princess is in trouble. Didn't realize that I just, she's right next to that flipping tank. That's problematic. And snare means that they let go. But look what we've got here. If we go here, then hopefully Russell and Princess will defend themselves. Nope. Russell a little bit slow on the draw there or something. Okay, we're safe. I mean, I, I feel like we're really just fighting with our back against the wall at the moment. That's on me, really. I think maybe made a... I, I think that leaving it so that a walker could just infiltrate our little position in that bottom right corner and, and just mess that up, that was problematic. Now we should be able to sort of ensnare both these guys pretty easily. So you hold tight, please. Let's start trying to get these guys on fire, because that would be good. Glad that there's a lot of stuff up there that we can stun. Let's kill that speedy that's up there. And of course, we want to hit as many targets as possible. That gives us a greater chance of getting more charge points. So, kind of trying to look on the plus side of having this many ravenous undead trying to rip us to pieces. Okay. Root you, or just, just KO you. That's absolutely fine. Let's get you slowed down. Oh, I guess I could have just done this to do that. That's 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 fine. That's fine. I mean, even those walkers that are a long way away. Yes, we're setting them on fire early. You know, they got a long way to go, but they're tough. They're real tough. Even if we get them burning early, the, you know, we're still going to have to sort of slow them down. We're going to have to think about what we can do to, <laughs> you know, keep them at arm's length. I think we need more to root you. Your, your, you guys are going to probably burn before you get to us or... You're a you're a real problem there. Okay, so we got some we got some bad guys just popped up right in front of us, but yeah, so we've ensnared these guys, but that's not really good enough because they're right they're right next to us. Ensnared is not stunned, so they could still get us. We'll slow these guys down. That's great that they're on fire but it's, it's still going to take a little bit more than the time that we've got i want you ensnared so that he can't get to us let's get you on fire as well has everybody shot yep Can't get all of these guys stunned, that's great. Yeah, that's, I think, a bit of a better position for old Princess. Hitting so many targets, it's almost guaranteed that she would be charged. Russell, mate, we could do with you being um, charged as well. Are you going to do that? You're not? Thanks, dude. Um...
We've got Spikey right next to where Princess is. That's bad news bears. I have no idea what the Bad News Bears is. I, I think it was like an American kids program or something. I just... I say that phrase. I describe things as Bad News Bears. And I, I don't even know... Yeah, what the context is. But... Seems to fit the situation. Right, so nobody is next to the deadly spiky. Nothing can get us. I don't think. So we're safe. Right. Um, bonus stun. He's got to be stunned, obviously. These guys. The hell do we do with those guys? Right, we've got to get you cooking. Russell, how about you make sure that he doesn't get anywhere closer? Do a little bit of that. Do that. And. We're at wave 30. That's pretty good. Definitely definitely having fun with this team. Just, I'm still going to use my, my charge attack there just in case we don't find a way to kill him. Which we might not. You're too damn close. You've got to be on fire. I think, I think that was worth doing. I think that killing that guy was worth it. Um, let's get you on fire. Rather you were down here. Okay. I think. Do we swap? Yeah, we swap positions there. It's good. Fire spread. Spread some fire over there. Let's get you out of there, just because he can still move one round. It's, it's likely that Russell would have defended himself, that he wouldn't have got to him, but there's a chance he would. Russell and Princess are on red health. Anything grabs them. They're pretty much gone. Let's get these two guys on fire. Let's do that. I mean, he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna burn. Okay. Anybody not on fire? Well, you aren't. Oh, or was he? I, I don't know. Let's get you going as well. You are not on fire, so I've got my eye on you. Kind of like where we are at the moment, this bottom left. This bottom left corner just seems to be working out pretty well. It seems to be a, a good place for the cool kids to hang out, so... Everyone's closing in, but we're keeping them at a good distance, I would say. Just those guys aren't even getting a look in, we're just stunning them. Some new bad guys come in, straight away they start burning. It's very good news. Yeah, I feel like we're probably good for a couple of turns. I missed him there, but that's... That's okay. Yeah, everybody's on fire. Let's hold you tight. Can we kill you? Nope. Okay. Pretty good score so far. Are we close to getting elite walkers? We're not, we're not massively far off.
These guys are a problem. Tanks, of course, you can't stun them or anything. We can ensnare them. There is only two of them. I think they're potentially the biggest problem on the map at the moment. I'm not panicking yet, but let's just bear in mind they could be a problem. I want that one up there on fire as well. Okay. Okay, some bad guys came in. Um, that probably could have been worse. You get cooking. Okay, you're you're frustrating. We can deal with you, but I would rather there wasn't a walker just right in front of us. That's great, being able to hit all of these guys. Got a lot of targets that could be on fire, but he's, I mean, got to, got to get him going. Got to get his clock ticking. You, sir, stay where you are, please. You go on fire, that's excellent. Good. Right, you should be ensnared if we do that. That's good. I'm always anxious that there's going to be something that I've just missed. Some speedy walker will just jump out of nowhere. Okay, so we've got a bit of a problem there. He obviously, oops. You know what a good solution to problems is? Hand grenades. Solves a lot of problems. Okay. Yeah, let's take a step forward. Let's get him on fire. Okay, we're doing well. A couple of speedies in a slightly inconvenient place, but we can can hit them, we can stun them, we can get them on fire. Very important. Uh, let's make you hold tight, shall we? Just hit you because you're, you're bloody annoying there, mate. Yes, that's good. Lots and lots of stuns, except for <laughs> you. If we hit him, sh he should be ensnared, right? Cook you guys. No? Good. Don't like that we got that space behind Russell for a walk to come in. Mm, yeah. Well... Okay, that's a stunnable walker type. We can just do that. And we're we're kind of okay. We're kind of okay. Doing, doing well, we're almost to the elite walkers. Can we get that first digit to tip over to two? That would be nice. Okay, get on fire.
do that. And I'm just I'm just sort of concentrating here a little bit. I think we've got a good system. We're doing well at setting things alight, getting everybody stunned who needs to be stunned. We're kind of I think we're taking the fight to the walkers here. And it's going well. Got to remember always to do this. Need that person stunned, of course. That's good. Is there anybody who needs to be on fire? You do. Do that. Yep. Good. Cool. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the score. Definitely. I'm liking how this is going. Okay, everything's ensnared there. Love the range on that charge attack, which I, I genuinely do think it's infinite. Never noticed a range restriction on that uh, on the Abbey's charge attack. You can reach right over the uh, other side of the map and start setting things on fire, which is just a joy to do. Doing much better than our first run. And that was, it was this team, but instead of Russell, our shooter, we had Tyrese. You do that, keep him there. Yeah, and... Here come the elite walkers. Bow, 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 bow. Still remember the first time. Still remember seeing them. It was. A, it just. It really felt like an achievement. If ever I reach the uh, the elite walkers, I'm kind of. I, I, I'm just of the opinion of that was a good run. That's that's my thinking. Okay. Sorry. Excuse me. Just one second. I'm taking the phone out of its cover. It's getting a little bit warm. There we go. Much much better. Um. Fire spread so we can get multiple targets cooking. That's good. Didn't really need to do that because he couldn't get past these guys anyway, but hey, that's that's fine. Uh, move back. I don't want to accidentally make it so that somebody comes in above Princess. Okay, good. This should get him on fire anyway. Yes, it did. Okay, now I'm worried about worried about this whole situation here. I think let's shove him back a bit. And we're good. Now we got I've got metal heads coming in. That's that's kind of a good thing in that we can stun them. We can turn them into an effective stun shield. It's kind of a bad thing because we can't shoot through them. So they could work to our advantage. They could mess up our plans immeasurably. Let's get you cooking. Yeah, let's just inch forward, get you shot as well, get you on fire. Got to make sure that we're in the right place. And the reinforcements come in. This should ensnare you, good. This should ensnare you. This should stun our metal-headed friend up there. As long as we make sure that we hit him. Good. Good. Okay. Bring in some fresh walkers. Let's see what we get. Okay. Not a problem. You can be stunned. These guys, they're behind a metal head. That's, that's a little bit frustrating. 
can still set them alight. Let's let's set you guys alight because you're flipping right next to us. Good. We got some really good systems of battlefield control here. The way that we can stop those walkers advance, we can stun them, we can cripple them, we can ensnare them. Got a lot of options as far as those kinds of things go. It doesn't make us invulnerable, but it does take away a lot of their potential avenues of attack because we just do stuff like that. Stun everything that's near us that can be stunned. Root anything that's just menacingly advancing on us. So normally, I mean, you're in real trouble when you have a situation like that. You have a spiky, something you can't stun or whatever, and it's closing in on you. But we got we got hold tight. We got you know both. We got two weapons that can ensnare targets, and it's just that's what we're gonna do. Right? Does anybody need to be held tight? I think I think what we do is this wanted him on fire do that to ensnare that spiky can't come for us the graphics are a little bit I, I couldn't quite see if everybody's on fire or I I wasn't sure if they were or not, and I I wanted to be sure. So let's do this. It's a bonus attack, so we get to go back to where we need to be. Oh! Would you be surprised if I said that was a misclick? Let's try and get back to our formation. Okay, that's... Okay, I mean that he he would have just popped up there anyway, so that's it seems like that misclick kind of doomed us, but that's that's not really the case. You know, we can ensnare him. We can stun. Who can we stun? Um shoot. Right, can we get you out of the picture? We can stun you, can ensnare you. I think... We might, we might, be able to, might be able to get ourselves out of this. That's probably not enough. He's probably still gonna be alive and he's probably gonna take a big bite out of Russell. Princess bites it as well. Okay, okay, okay. That that was a really fun run, and I was I was really enjoying that turtling up there. I think we had a good strategy. Nothing lasts forever, but that was good. That was a fun run. I really enjoyed that. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.